This week at our cabin, we are buried in snow out here, working hard to move it all, maintain the homestead in the winter, and we find ourselves with our tractor sideways. This is not looking too good, everyone. Oh, all right, here goes nothing. We've worked so hard to get our off-grid cabin prepared for winter, and that means I'm able to go outside and do one of my favorite winter off-grid activities. They don't like these things. All clear. I love seeing them glisten. One, I love waking up to the snow panels covered because it gets us outside right away. Feels super good too. I love to see him cleared and see that sunshine. Izzy, are you spying? Mom. I'm coming up though, honey. You want it? Precious. When there's snow on the ground and the sun's out, winter is absolutely <coughs> magic. And little duties like this keep you busy and keeps your body moving, keeps that blood flowing. It feels good. There's Venice Lucy. Come on. Winter morning routine, y'all. I just checked on the batteries, they are at 70% and that helps me determine what source of heat I'm going to use. It's a wonderful thing to have three sources of heat in the workshop and three sources of heat in the cabin. Glorious sunny day and we're pulling in 4,852 watts on one array and 2,567 on the other array. So that definitely means it is heat pump day. The press of a button. Are you watching the show or something? <laughs> That's the if you forget a log machine. She means when we forget a log. Bella, gorilla. How easy is firewood this year? Easier than ever, baby. <laughs> Don't forget to put the wagon back, Crystal. Ha 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 ha. She has a tendency to just leave it on the deck and it gets filled with snow and rain. And then guess what? Not fun. We're stocked with wood. All right. <laughs> just sitting here waiting for Crystal to return. She's been chasing a bird for the last 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, she's one in a million. Seven billion. Oh, I think I hear that one. How's it going, bird catcher? Oh, I was just following it. <laughs> it is an absolute snow globe. The cabin is in a snow globe. It is stunning. This is the winter we love so, so much. I've never seen anything more beautiful and it's so great that we get this right before the holidays. What a perfect day. Just came out in the snow globe to take some shots and look what I found. The wagon, not how it's supposed to go. Honestly, Crystal. It's a hard job chasing that drone, eh, Izzy? Aw, BC is the best bagel out there. Oh yeah. Panels are getting covered again. Espresso for me. Isn't it wild to thank everyone that this time last year we didn't have a kitchen at all and now we're cooking in a beautifully, literally 100% done kitchen? <laughs> it's actually hard to go back there in my head because I'm just here now. We woke up and cleared snow off our panels instead of starting a generator. 
to yes. make ourselves coffee. It's Sometimes just, I just forgot. I think we try to block it out, not gonna lie. <laughs> block it out didn't happen. I do block it out. But yeah, literally. <laughs> it's incredible how much can change in one year. Guess who's having a latte? Me. Cheers. Cheers. Sunny to snowy to snowy to sunny. I didn't realize that we would be equally as excited to be using this indoor outdoor bar, not only in the summer, but in the winter. How Canadians toboggan. Most people bring their boats in for the winter, not us. Come in. Bye girls, love you. It's a tippy canoe. <laughs> and if they fall in, it's freezing. So we'll wait. Hi cabin. Isn't this nice? It's so nice. The river. It looks like rapids, I wanna go down it. Who can spot Bella following us along the path? What a Velcro dog. Are you enjoying your ride? Passenger princess. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It is so quiet and so special out here. We need to spend more time on the lake. I think we've only been on the lake a handful, handful of times. Because we're normally in the lake. But it's really <laughs> something to be out here. It's snowing! It's snowing again, everyone! What a nice ride! That was fun. Oh. Hi, Woo! <laughs> Hi! Missed you. Come on, girls, we're home! We're supposed to get more snow and more snow and more snow, so I'm gonna shovel my deck. <laughs> Good shoveling. This is the coldest Clementine has ever started as our child. She used to live in New Brunswick, AKA freezing. Ready? So I'll listen to her. Not bad. You may have noticed that our firewood was a little frozen this morning and that's because we haven't made it a hat yet. And we're gonna do that right now. Game on. Ready? So easy. Now we got two hats. Where's mama? Bella, Izzy, where's mom? Where's mama? Hi. Why would you say? This is our 11 cord firewood shed that we built a few weeks ago after three years. <laughs> just in time for this winter. And the wood is doing super well in here. It's in between the solar panels, as you all know, and it's the sunniest spot. Anyway, we need some more firewood. All the IBC totes are in the woodshed, minus one. I did the good old FIFO method. My mouth is kind of frozen right now. So I can't really speak. But first in, first out. Rotated them all. And I only have one more IBC tote left. Good. Mm -hmm. Bravo. That looks, like, that looks like a little home. It's really cute, actually. A little gnome home. I like it. <laughs> Mama was done, Vanilla. Basically five o'clock. And it basically dark out. <laughs> <laughs> Bella hates being tickled. Yeah, you're growling, eh? This is what we do after 5 p.m. Whoa! Mom's faster in the dark! Those are your leaders, everyone. Izzy, you wanna tell everyone what you just did? I caught the drone and took it to the ground. Now I need the biggest drink of water. I'm tired after running after that thing. <laughs> All you need is 15 minutes to learn a new language. I know, it sounds wild, right? But with Rosetta Stone, that's all it takes. And tonight, 
we're learning Portuguese. I'm on a Portuguese kick. However, there are so many languages you can learn, from Spanish to Dutch to Japanese. The world is your oyster, and you will get there a lot easier if you can speak the language. Rosetta has been such a big part of my life for so long. When I was in high school, I was gifted a CD-ROM where I started learning Spanish because I was going to Spain without speaking a lick of Spanish. It entirely changes your experience. It allows you to travel more confidently, to make friends with the locals, and to be able to communicate effectively and help others. Rosetta prepares you for real life conversations in real life scenarios using the immersion approach. It's engaging and it helps you retain the information faster and better. What I love is learning from pictures, audio from native speakers, and the interactive activities. Rosetta is offering you a lifetime subscription. No renewal fee necessary ever. Full access, all languages for life. I have big travel dreams, and if that's you, click the link in the description and learn a new language with me. Does anyone eat anything other than soup? Baby bowls of soup because there's nothing else to do past 5 p.m. So all you do is do waves of eating. That means one wave is soup, next wave will be sandwiches, the next waves will be cereal, and then maybe we'll have some tacos. <laughs> Down? Down. They just gotta warm the soul after being outside. Mm, what a good winter gosh. day. There's nothing better than barley and soup. Mary Berry. Ho, ho, ho. I had a cat named Ho, ho. Fun fact. <laughs> There's the North Star. Morning. Morning. Your favorite snow's here. <laughs> How tempting. I want to throw this at you now. Uh oh. It's, it's your favorite so snow. So pretty. Today is the perfect, perfect winter day. We got so much snow last night. It's a blizzard out there. I feel like a kid waking up this morning and I feel so <laughs> grateful to have this beautiful view as soon as I open my eyes. Bella, ready? Go outside, girl. Ready? You want the snowball? Three, two, one. Yeah! Look at the pretty background. I just can't <laughs> stop. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is my kind of winter. You ready? Cue the off-grid winter morning routine. It's my time. It's your time. It's your time. It's my time. It's your time. It's your time. Come on, Shadow. 56.5 today, everyone. And that's what each panel is pulling in for sun today. If you don't know what those numbers mean, it's not much. To put in perspective, a toaster takes around 1,000 to 1,500 watts and we're not even bringing in a thousand watts today. Jazzy! Yeah. You wanna warm up Clementine? That's a very good idea. This type of weather is a true testament to our off-grid system. Now you all probably realize why we went so big. That is our sun. Get warm, Clementine. Get warm. <laughs> All that before coffee. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm.
Who's your friend? Pac-Man. <laughs> is it named Pac-Man after the game because it has no arms? Pac-Man's also got a hat and a t-shirt. Thank you all so, so much. It was overwhelming to see how excited you were and how well our first ever merch drop went. So thank you for showing up and supporting. And on that note, Jasmine and I purchased lots of extra t-shirts and hats and we want to give them away. So in the comments, leave us a little note about why you love the pack, why you love would love some merch, and we're gonna pick some comments and send them your way. What do you have here? Funny story, everyone. We bought Clementine a present for the holidays and it's here in this box and I'm so excited to show all of you what it is. And I'm so excited to show Clem off with it on. Let's dress her. Oh! oh. <laughs> it's the snow making it so heavy. Don't worry, Clem, I'll open it for ya. <laughs> the backhoe probably wouldn't do a good job of opening it. Little hint. <laughs> Starting with a big old pile of instructions. Fun. Well, we made it a little far, got everything out of the box, we tried to put her new jacket on, but turns out all of the instructions and paperwork that we have isn't actually for the model we received. So we were putting it on as if it were a different model. Gonna go and try and find those online or give them another call, see if they can find them, but that's all we got. This road is not gonna plow itself and it's still snowing. Here we go, let's plow the road. Jasmine's just trying to get her bucket on her forks to bring it down to level ground to be able to detach the forks and put the bucket on, but it's so slippery. It looks like we need a lot more than a canopy for Clementine. We may need some chains. Are you excited? Yeah, it's the first ever plow with Clementine. First plow and Clementine is in the ditch. I highly regret not getting those chains the other day when I was in the city. We need those immediately. Uh, she's currently sideways, she's stuck, and it's super slick underneath the snow. I literally fell trying to go help Jasmine. I don't know how well this is gonna work pulling it out. It is trapped in the woods. It's icy not only for the tractor, but really icy for the truck right now. I hope it doesn't ruin the tractor. Uh, all right, here goes nothing. We're first gonna try to pull the tractor out with no one in the tractor, that way, if it does tip, no one's tipping, but we might have to do that. Ready? This is not looking too good, everyone. We're gonna add some mats to give the back tire some tread. Okay. Um, I'm gonna count on three. Slow and steady though, cause I am um, in the tractor. Yeah. Three, three. Oh, hang on. This is so chaotic. I can't even believe it. Just a casual day, let's go snow plowing. Didn't even make it down the driveway. Yes, okay, Are you out? <laughs> I'm out, girl. Let's just go tobogganing, what are we doing? Is are my tree okay? No, I had to take the bucket off. Tree has, I'm really sorry, but we'll use it as firewood. That was so scary. Just gonna say, that was a bad case of forgetting where the driveway was. No, I thought this was a French drain. No, it has yes. everything to do with the fact that there is no gravel there and your tire went in a ditch. Well, maybe we should plow earlier and I could see the driveway. Or do what everyone else said and put up those reflective little thingies at, all around your driveway. <laughs> Guilty, yeah, we all definitely right. do. Yeah, okay, I blamed that on the French drain. It's definitely not the not, French drain. No, because the, the French drain goes into driver. the woods. So that means I went into the woods. Right. <laughs> Look at this map. Okay. Alright. Yeah, girl. Badly. Bad.
Well, everyone, five o'clock is here. Sweats are on, comfiest hoodie is on, and every day looks the same. The nights seem so long, like they're never going to end. And you wait for the next day. And guess what's on the menu tonight? <laughs> Soup! <laughs> If any of you have some really delicious recipes, I would love some new soup recipes. Please. We've been making the same ones. Mushroom. <laughs> and chicken noodle. Chili chicken noodle. On these cold nights, that little tree brings us lots of joy. For the second year in a row, the four of us went out and got our very own Christmas tree. This is the four of us. So cute, eh? for this. It's sunny and we got a fresh dusting of snow. And we know exactly where to pick the best tree. And it, Christmas tree capital of the world. It's true. Nova Scotia is the Christmas tree capital of the world. And this is our second annual family go-getter Christmas tree. I think I know what one I want. Do you guys think we want the same tree? As you can see, there are many good candidates. This one's number one in my heart. Why? It's big, it's skinny, it's full, and I think it would look really nice with our windows. Crystal's eyes, if you could only see them right now, like, get out of here. It's not about the size of the tree, it's just about the size of your heart. What is going on with this holiday spirit? Let's compromise. That means get your size, because you don't want it. That's not compromising. <laughs> we could get that one. No, you don't want that one. You want a medium one, so the compromise is whatever you want. <laughs> Good try. <laughs> we have come to a conclusion, and we found the best tree ever. Time to get chopping. <laughs> Yay! This is the absolute perfect tree for our house. I love it. And I love that every year they look so different and they're so unique. And we don't even have to strap it down this year. <laughs> Behind the scenes annual Christmas tree family photo. I wasn't planning on getting a tree that looks like this, but when I saw it, my heart fluttered. Ready to go home now, girls? We can decorate our tree. It will take one second. Have a good ride. I have everything I need this year. This little house. Thank you all for such a wonderful year. We will see you next year. We love you, Pack. Love you, Pack. Thank happy you. Happy holidays. Thank oh, you. Oh, sorry. sorry. We're all, we just want to talk so much, all of us. <laughs> just thank you for being in our life every single Sunday. Yeah, thank you, you so much for showing up each Sunday. Happy holidays to you all. I hope it's wonderful. We will miss you, but we will see you. In, in the new year. 2024. <laughs> Bye, Pack. Love you. Say love you, Bella. I love you, Izzy. <laughs>